Hello everyone and welcome to the Gilles Villeneuve circuit as it lights out and away we go here in Canada. Plenty of wheel spin off the start line. Kid Byers makes a good start from 7th on the grid as we come into turn 1. And this contact, my goodness me, a Sauber of Williams. Formula 1 rock sneaking through the field there up into 7th position. But HSV, not a good start for him in the second Mercedes as we come into turn 3 and 4 now on lap 1. And look at that, 5th, 6th, 7th, all together as Kid Byers makes a slight mistake coming out of that corner. Let's get back up to racing speed. So Formula 1 Rock starting from ninth on the grid. He managed to get a good result today. Second as we come into lap 4 now from lap 1. And Mighty Murph managed to damage his wing after a minor excursion off the track. That put Kid Byers up to 7th and Hef up to 6th. And the battle continued on lap 4 as Hef made a small mistake coming out of that corner. And Jason Wilkinson up into 5th and Kid Byers up into 6th as we come into the hairpin now. And Hef was not done with yet however as he tried to attack Kid Byers back on the main straight but before we get to that it is Kid Byers with the use of DRS Jason Wilkinson on the main straight tries to close him out but he won't get there as Kid Byers pulls off an amazing move up into the top five now and off in pursuit of Cartoon who also had a very good race he was down the road but Jason as Kid Byers there looking to his right went off the track hit the wall lucky to escape getting no damage at all and Jason Wilkinson is back through and that is a very good battle. We'll keep an eye on that one. But Kid Byers looks like he's going to have the last laugh in this one. DRS down the back straight. Up to eighth gear. Here he goes. Into the last set of corners now. Hef's not too far behind. Into the last set of corners. And he gets the job done. And I got about 25 fucking corner cutting. Exceeding track limit warnings for that corner. It's just impossible to not get one there. As look at that Hef. I said that he would still have a part to play in this race. And this battle and he got the job done on the main straight uh, and we're only on lap 8 so plenty of action so far on this Canadian Grand Prix now I must tell you that I switched the PlayStation off before the uh, recording finished so I didn't actually get the finish of the race I apologize for that but we've got a little segment coming up there is oh my goodness there's contact there Kid Byers went way too deep into that corner and he managed to make contact with the Ferrari but neither Da uh, damage done to neither car as we come to the hairpin now and look at that wow lap 31 and I tell you what Hef was lucky to escape twice there as Kid Byers almost running into the back of him as you can see the conditions got far worse but I run out of foot footage here folks but don't worry because we've got a special segment coming up about now yes hello there everyone and it's time for hashtag ask crofty I didn't take the end of the race, of course. I switched the PlayStation off in a fit of rage after my spin with several laps to go. And I was so pissed off that I uh, actually didn't record the end of the race. I had it recording, but obviously when you switch your PlayStation off into rest mode, it uh, must delete the recording. But anyhow, it's time for hashtag Ask Crofty. Send us your tweets in at Sky Sports F1. And uh, our first tweet comes from Sheepshagger97, who says, How come HSV raged quit? Rage quit. Wow, I've had too many of these babies. That's why I can't talk tonight, for fuck's sake. Okay, uh, the reason is, well, he doesn't usually do that. So my assumption would be that he was majorly pissed off, not majorly pissed like I am, uh, and he just didn't, couldn't be fucked completing the race. Thank you, Sheepshagger97. Okay, Big Dong 98 says, How come Trevor, uh, a.k.a. Kid Bias, is such a flog? And, uh, I, well, interesting, I don't know about that question. We might move on from that. Okay, let's just scroll down here. Oh, where are we here? Okay. Uh, who was your driver of the day? Well, simple one. Coming from ninth on the grid, it was Formula One Rocks who managed to get his first podium and uh, McLaren's first podium in any, whether it be game or real life, for 2015. Uh, where does this leave Chasty for the championship? And did Kid Byers snob Chasty? when he asked him to come around and have a few beers. Well, interesting question. Um, I think we're getting a lot of Kid Byers feedback in these tweets, but uh, yeah, where does it leave Chasty? Well, the Red Bulls dominated yet again. Stylen had his issues, uh, but Rafa was once again dominant in changeable conditions. It was an exciting race. It had accidents, it had weather, it had everything. Um, short answer though, Chasty will need to get points back. I like Nico Rosberg, uh, if he's gonna be any hope for this championship. So there you go, guys. That's all the tweets we've got time for today. I'm going to get back on the piss, and uh, don't forget to tune in to wherever the fuck the race is next week, and get your tweets in and hashtag AskCrofty.